Hello there, and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today I want to talk more about the ancient machines. I've discovered something today that I feel... That it was one of the biggest disappointments, to be honest, with ancient machines that I've had. And I just want to share it with you and uh, learn your opinion. And also I wanted to talk more about every single ancient machine because I've seen a lot of comments of people suggesting pretty good uses for things. And also... I, uh, I I did realize a couple things uh, after testing a little bit more. So let's start with uh, the, the things that I discovered today that absolutely made me miserable. So, you would assume that you can set up a ginormous field and make it fully automatically watered with a bunch of uh, gardening uh, machines, right? Wrong! That's what I assumed. I was testing, I was working on my new improved 2.0 farming setup that's gonna be the most efficient farming setup in the universe. And I did come up with incredible design and it, it, it was, everything was fantastic until I discovered one major limitation of ancient gardening machines. And it's that you cannot have more than four of them per biome. I don't know why, what is the logic behind this? Four ancient machines. So first of all, let, let me demonstrate. So let's say I have uh, four machines right here. Uh, let me put them in a new location. So so it's it's like completely new setup. I'm, I'm just gonna put them in a circle like this. Basically what, what they're assuming is that people are gonna use uh, ancient machines probably in a circle like this to create uh, a square field, depending on what kind of uh, machine do you have so this is regular this is not uh the the biggest kind so this one you can say you can see exactly how much this will cover this one is gonna have uh 24 gardening spots each which means you will get uh 96 gardening spots field in total and if you have four of the level three gardening machines, it's going to go all the way up to 35 gardening spots. 35 multiplied by four is going to be 140. So 140 is the biggest field that you are allowed to have in Disney Dreamlight Valley. But the thing is... The, the way these machines work, they basically take uh, take space around them. L let me dig around it so I, I can show you what I mean. This is not an efficient field, se field setup. Having this giant machine in the middle of your field is going to be a nightmare to navigate around. You will not be able to just hold your button and go through the entire thing because at some point... It's just gonna get stuck. You're, you're gonna be going row by row by row, and then you're gonna arrive here, and it, your journey is gonna end, and it's gonna be very painful and very annoying. Or you will probably go up around, but then you're gonna miss this whole giant piece of your field on, on this side, on the other side of the machine. So this is a painful solution of, of running a regular square field. And if you want to get... Uh, the field that is more than 140 uh, holes or crops, you're out of luck. It, it will not allow you to water it automatically. Now, uh, l let me demonstrate what I mean. So if you, if you just have four machines in the biome, as you can see, I can use these things to plant seeds. Each machine is going to be responsible for their own corner. You can plant seeds. You can. It's going to automatically water them. Uh, here you go, plant seeds, and plant seeds. So it's going to water, imagine it's a, it's a way bigger field. This is just to demonstrate. So everything works absolutely perfect when you have four of these bad boys. Well, let's say you want to set up a bigger field. So you're going to need more of them. So what happens if you put another uh asian machine and i i tested this with uh all the multiple sizes i tested it with uh advanced ones regular ones basic ones all sizes it doesn't matter you're only allowed four 
per biome. Disappointing. So if I put this one down, for example, I want to make my field a little bit bigger. So let's see what happens. Let's go to this machine. Let's let's give it a couple holes uh, to plant things in. Let's say th these these are the two holes. Ancient machine is not active. This is going to be the message you get. And if you try to plant anything, it's going to make it sound like it's planting it, but nothing's going to happen. You won't be allowed to dig. It will not water anything you plant in here if you plant it uh, manually. So basically, this machine is going to be completely useless. It's not going to do absolutely anything. Uh, so yeah, sad life. So my setup relied on having eight regular gardening machines and there is no way for me to make it work you could make it work in order for you to make it work you would have to plant first half of your field and then you would have to go into the furniture mode and just uh remove for example uh, if i if i had another setup with four machines i would just remove one you have just to remove it and then this machine will activate and start doing the thing so basically it keeps checking if there is four or less machines in the biome and it will not allow any extra machines do any work so technically you could make it work you would have to manually take these things down then put them on the other place then after you're done there you take them down put them in the first place but honestly it just defeats the whole purpose of being efficient and simplicity i don't understand why this limitation is in place why like Disney Dreamlight Valley knows how much people love their pumpkins and love their farming. They have seen multiple posts everywhere with ginormous fields. And they just add these machines and say, okay, you have a way to now water your things with this ancient technology, but you can only have a small, tiny little field. And... Like, this is, not, this is not a good way to set up a field. Let's be honest. The, the better way to set up a field would be, for example, in my opinion, the best way would be to have something like... You, you want to have a continuous flat field. So you would go and place, uh, place them something like this. I, I, I'm not going to spoil my setup right now because I, I have a whole video coming out on the setup soon. But it, it would probably look something, some, something like this. You would put two together... And then, for example, you put two together on the other side. Something like this. This way, and, and you would not plant anything in these rows. You would not plant anything here. You would only plant things in, in the front row. So this way, you, you are sacrificing one row of watering. Which I thought was totally fine. Because you could still place like eight of these. So you could have a pretty wild, wide field. And you could have two of these. And then two more to the side. And you have a nicely sized field. No. You are not going to be able to do that. And uh, because th this is basically all you can have. This little tiny area. This is, this is the biggest field you're allowed to have. It's going to be a little bit bigger if you use... The highest size uh, level three gardening machines but still it's it's been extremely disappointing i was so hyped to test out my new efficient farming setup and ain't nothing efficient about it because i cannot water everything at the same time i'm i'm very sad about that anyway let me know in the comments what do you guys think do you think it's uh it makes sense do you think it's fair to have this four watering uh, machines limit per biome once again you could set up another garden like this in a different biome i guess but that's just that just feels wrong i love having my garden one at the same place for efficiency reasons once again these machines are supposed to improve efficiency and yet they create so many problems probably for most of the people is they're, they're they're gonna have bigger gardens that these things will allow you to have fully watered. I, I guess it's still nice. You can have maybe half of your garden watered. But it, it, I, feel it, it, I feel like it takes the same amount of time to water the field than to go into furniture mode and move things around. It's just... 
it's just not efficient whatsoever. Anyway, let's talk about the other machines. So, people have suggested some very cool uses for uh, the vacuum, and I wanted to talk about it. So, I when, I when I was initially thinking about this thing, I was under the impression that we're never going to have any mist, because all the mists are going to be going away to crafting or to unlocking new areas. That was creepy. Uh, and but, but if you think about it, once you unlocked all the areas and once you've crafted everything that you need to craft with mist, uh, you're pretty much not going to have anything else to spend mist except these uh, machines, ancient machines. So it's actually not a bad thing. Plus, you're going to be... If, if, you, if you're going to be grinding for something like... Uh, one of those fancy floors that requires some of the uh, time-bending artifacts or maybe a fence or anything, any furniture that requires lots of time-bending uh, items, you are going to end up with a lot of mist. So potentially, so a couple best case uses for this thing that people suggested in the comments. Number one is actually not needing to have a tree farm. As you know, it's it's very popular. People set up a tree farm in their biome. So basically, they're only allowed to have four trees in the entire biome. And they have to be in the same place. And usually, it looks pretty ugly and doesn't, like, doesn't allow you to decorate the biome. And with this thing, you could have your trees anywhere you want. And it, you could have closed off areas with the trees. And if something falls down, you could just come here. Just select what, what do you want to pick up. And, wow, I have a lot of garbage. Oh my god, 3,000. No, I'm not paying 3,000 for that. I'm, I'm not crazy. But just an ability to select your wood. If you need wood without needing to just go around and, and pick it up or have a dedicated area set up for it. I think it's going to be worth it. You're only paying how much? There's 20 pieces of wood in each biome, so you're paying 200 mist. Maybe a couple times of day, uh, if you need, if if you're in a wood accumula accumulation uh, cycle, so yeah, that that is totally worth it. Sometimes you would need spices too, if you don't want to manually just run around and collect them, or you just want to remove the, all the night thorns. So I was, uh, I, I I did see some proof that you can actually get memories from night thorns so if if night thorn that you're removing would generate a memory you're gonna get the memory so that is that is good to know so you're not gonna be missing out on any memories however it seems like you will be missing out on the mini game so you will be missing out on the gold chests which if i'm being honest completely worthless the only use for those gold chests is to refresh the red chest report from your dream snap other than that most of the time you're going to get coins from it anyway. Whatever times you're going to get a furniture pouch, you're most likely not going to get anything great from it anyway. So this thing could be very, very useful. I still don't think it's the best Asian machine. I, I've seen a lot of people saying it's the best one. It does have some uses, but I still think the Gardener is the better one. However, now I'm honestly, it lost a couple of points for the fact that you can only have four per biome. I wonder if the other ancient machines have the same rules. You can only have four per biome. But if even if the even if it is, it doesn't really matter because you are not going to be uh, <laughs> using more than four of vacuums or cookers. Like why 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 would you need more than four per biome? Let me actually test something. I assume it's per biome. I hope it's not per the entire map. Because I haven't actually tested it. Let, let me test this real quick. So if I put one in Forgotten Lands. Let's see. So let's make sure these guys are working. And then we're going to go see if the one in Forgotten Lands is working. Okay, so these four are working. So now let's go check out if the one in the Forgotten Lands is going to work as well. I mean, I'm assuming so. I, I, think, I think it's the... The limit is per biome. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but let, let's just confirm. Let's make a hole, and let's try to plant a pineapple in it. Yep, so it works in this biome. But if I move it back to uh, 
to the silent plateau it's gonna stop working I don't get it I I, I don't get it this is this is so sad to me anyway Ugh, warnings. yep tell me about it <laughs> anyway let's talk about the cooker real quick uh, people said one really good use for cooker is the fact that you can actually select which ingredients to use when you cook certain meals for example before I was recommending pumpkin puffs as the best food to cook with uh, with pumpkin if you want to increase your money I mean, it's, it's just simple example. Okay, better example would be actually the berry salad. The berry salad, and in its basic form, gives you uh, this little salad that gives you, let's see how much energy. It gives you 200, 2,255 energy. So it's not it's not even enough to fill up your uh, your health bar. You need about I think 4,000 to fill up the, your bar. So what happens if you add another berry in it? For example, doesn't matter which one, whichever you have the most of. I have a lot of gooseberries, so I'm just gonna add one more gooseberry. So I lock it in this recipe and now I can cook a bunch of these things. And it is expensive, it is hella expensive. Ah, oh, ah that is, that is ridiculously expensive. But now the salads that come out of this thing are actually going to be much more, be much better for energy. Let me show you. And done. Let's claim it. it it's gonna, it's gonna get st stored separately in your inventory because it used different ingredients. And take a look. This one has 2,800 energy compared to the regular berry salad that has 2,200 energy. So if I eat this one, I actually get full energy bar actually yeah it is it's not four thousand i don't know why i thought it's four thousand it's about 25 i think so the other one fills you up about 80 percent of your gold bar but if you add an extra berry i'm pretty sure even if you add the extra raspberry it's still gonna fill up your full bar but it needs some experimenting this allows you to dial in your energy food to turn pretty much the cheapest foods into perfect amount of energy to fill up your gold bar from zero to 100 which regular berry salad doesn't really do so you are gaining some efficiency in how many times you will actually need to eat and or not wasting potentially some energy if you if you're using meals that go over that amount of energy so that is a really good use for it it is hella expensive but if you are as big of a fan of time bending as i am and if your missed counter is constantly up like how how many berry salads are you gonna need you're probably gonna cook uh like you're gonna cook you you will not use more than 10 a day unless you're grinding absolutely crazy and it's gonna take 250 mist which literally is one like you can get it from one uh time anomaly so that is pretty cool honestly i i take it back i love the vacuum and the mist they have a couple very cool uses and honestly at this point i'm not sure if if this thing is better if there was no limit of how many i could place in the valley it would be absolute winner but as it stands they all have very limited uses but some of the uses are actually very useful if that makes sense i don't know if it does let me know in the comments what do you think how are you planning to use these machines and if you want me to make a video on a specific topic about the update, please let me know in the comments. I do still have a lot of content that I have planned, a lot of ideas, a lot of things to explore. But if you guys want to see something specifically, I would love to make a video on it if a lot of people request it. I've been experimenting with farming. I did come up with incredible farming setup. The only thing now is... Like, I'm so sad that I cannot fully water it automatically. I might have to rebuild it from scratch. And that kind of sucks. But what can you do? What can you do? Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more. And goodbye.